Hello, this is Mei Ling, and you're listening to Minneapolis Sound News. Today, I want to just shout out Morris Day. <laughs> I have his book. I bought the book. I read the book in one day. On Time, A Princely Life in Funk, Morris Day with David Ritz. I love the book. It was outstanding. I couldn't put it down. I felt like it was, you know, his story. It was his story in his words, the way he wanted to tell it. But I did like the fact that he included the voice of M.D., Morris Day, the character he created on stage, he and Prince created, and also Prince's voice to kind of check him. It was brilliant. At first, I was like, well, this is going to be a little confusing, but it actually went quite well. The one thing I will say, I would have loved to hear Morris on the audiobook. That would have been great. I'm not going to go over the book to say what he should have put in, what he left out. I am going to give him big props for being real and talking about his own problems, his own situation, and the cautionary tales that he put out there for everybody to absorb and listen to in there and, you know, check out in your own life. One of the things I took from the book was that you should never, ever give up on your passion. And you should not let other people direct your passion. So he was a drummer, and he always wanted to be a drummer, and he still apparently loves drumming. It's in his soul. It's in his spirit. And those are the things that actually fulfill you in life is the things that you are chosen to do. Some people are chosen to be writers, you know, directors, chefs, you know, (laughs) dancers. It's out there. And when you find your passion in life, which I've always told people my entire life, that's when you become fulfilled. It's hard to be fulfilled if you're fulfilling other people's dreams. So that's what I took from the book was to never give up on your dream, your passion. And when you go back and look at your life, because now, you know, you're 60 plus years old, you have an opportunity to review what you've gone through and how you could have done it differently, which is also, you know, it is what it is. The past is a past. You have to look forward, but it's also a very healthy way to look back on your life and to look at your accomplishments. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Morris Day and the Minneapolis Sound and all of my friends back in the day because that's my hometown. I enjoyed the book and I look forward to more books coming out from people who actually were there way back in the day. And I think it will be intriguing and you'll get an opportunity to learn more about Prince. So, If you haven't picked up Morris's book, that's what time it is. You go out and have a positive and productive day.